Earth Week for VIP Kid. Uh, you can see I opened up classes and I closed the classes in between. So I had one class and then I closed this one and then I opened these two for short notice so that if it booked, which it booked uh, right around like 7 or 8 p.m., so then I'd have time to plan and prep a little bit before these two, which ended up being the same student. That was kind of cool. And then I didn't fill this class, but I wanted time to prep in between. Uh, just because being new, I don't, uh, I can't just do it on the fly yet. That's, yeah. And then tomorrow night, I have a back-to-back. -back. It's my second back-to-back. -back. This is my first back-to-back. -back. Having it be the same student was kind of cool, though. So this will be more challenging. Probably, we'll see. And then I have this class, and these two are not short notice, but I might, um, actually, I'm going to change it to short notice so that it can book tonight. Oops. Hey, so it is, uh, the end of week five. Wow. Uh, my first one, two, three, four weeks, I had, um, 15 classes taught. It's been, it was interesting, uh, the last three weeks, my classes, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday booked. I think maybe one Thursday, but this week it's been my, I opened a bunch of slots on Friday and Saturday because my husband's gone, and so those ones are the ones that booked this week, so it's kind of all over the place, um, but that's okay, I'm working on just doing my best and seeing what happens, and slots are booking, uh, like I said, I, I've taken off all of the peak times and all of the peak peak times, except this week since my husband's gone, I did do the Friday, Saturday peak times. Uh, it is doable without peak peak times. One of the things that I... It comes up in the groups on Facebook all the time that, like, something will be said, and I'm like, oh, I don't work peak hours, and they're like, oh, my gosh, and so there's lots of, like, you have to work peak hours, and I'm like, I, I don't. I'm not going to, <laughs> and so there's a lot of, uh, you guys should know that if you don't work the peak hours, there's less chance of getting raises, um, especially if, you're, like, the upper level, the higher raises you can't get without working a certain number of peak hours our peak peak hours. Just know that it makes raises more difficult and you don't get the incentives and there's certain things like that, but I don't care. Um, not that, I mean, those would be great things. It'd be awesome and wonderful and a ton of fun, but I make what I was contracted in and I'm not making less than that. And if I don't show up to class, I might lose some of the like added incentives, but I'm making what I was contracted in. I'm very content and very happy with it. Um, I'm averaging $19 an hour. It could go down, like, if I, if I miss classes, that type of thing, it could go down. Um, but it will never go down below $16 an hour, so that's, I'm happy there. Uh, and it can go up if I work more hours, too. So at some point, I'll probably be working more hours than I am now. I'm just, right now, I'm not. Yeah, so anyways, that's week five. So, I have, uh, five bookings this week. This was a slow week, and I even opened more slots, with, slots, which was really weird. Like, I opened all of the Friday and Saturday ones, um, because my husband's out of town. And I'm hoping my certification for, certification for trials will go through tonight, and so then maybe some of these will get booked for tomorrow. I don't usually work weekends, so I just took allergy medicines. I feel like I'm like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, last week I had one, two, I think seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which was a good week, and I did close these ones intentionally. Like, one, I didn't want to teach four classes in a row, and so I, I closed them, and then uh, the week before I had five, or no, I had six, yeah, so six there, and then two, and then I had one my first week, and these ones, it looks like I closed all the slots, but I didn't, I guess I did it at the end, but I didn't realize you could take off short notice without closing them, so they all look closed, I closed them like right at the last minute. Except, uh, I think there was a day we went out and did something where I was like, ah, I'm gonna close them all because they're, my husband's still gone. So those ones are extra open, um, and then he gets home around around midnight, so I took that part off. So that's different, but other than that, it's my consistent schedule-ish. <laughs> and then this is kind of consistent-ish, but then we're leaving town. It's our 10-year wedding anniversary, so we're gone. And it should show the little things, but it doesn't. This is also a weird week because we're gone until Monday, and then... Uh, my husband is gone these couple days, so I opened up a bunch of extra slots. We'll see if they book. He must be gone again. <laughs> I wanted to show you what my normal schedule will look like. I don't know what... Oh, I don't know what's going on those days. Parents are going to be in town, so that's a short one. This is ridiculous. And then this is what my normal weeks will look like. There we go. This is what I want my consistent schedule to be. There we go. <laughs> Thanks for hanging in there with me, you guys.